Welcome everyone, Jason here with today's episode of What Fantastic Things We Can Do in Photoshop. And today I want to show you the black and white adjustment layer. And the black and white adjustment layer was something that came out several versions ago in Photoshop and was pretty cool because you could go in and convert your image into black and white by going into your half moon, choosing your black and white adjustment layer. And it puts an adjustment layer on top of your image. And instead of going under the image mode and converting it to grayscale and not having any type of adjustment, the black and white adjustment layer would then allow you to target the specific color ranges in your image so you could adjust the saturation and the contrast of those colors. Now what I always thought was interesting was when you do a black and white adjustment layer, your properties panel would come up and you could then go in and adjust all of your colors, but this is black and white. So if you don't remember what the colors were in your image, going into your red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta sliders is kind of tricky because you don't know what you're adjusting. So if I were to adjust the reds back and forth and I didn't remember where the reds were in my image, this was kind of guesswork. Well, thankfully we had the finger scrubby and the finger scrubby allows you to select and then click anywhere in your image and slide left to right to then adjust that particular color in the color range to get the best contrast out of your black and white adjustment layer. So if you wanted to have more consistent tonal range, I could use my finger scrubby, click and drag back and forth, targeting those colors, and I could get a more consistent black and white image. If I wanted to up the contrast or reduce the contrast or make it more even contrast, I could do that without sliding each and every one of those sliders. But that's not what this video is all about. What this video is about here is how you can adjust color using your black and white adjustment layer, but not as your black and white adjustment layer. And you may be saying, what? How do you do color with black and white when you're adjusting color? Check this out. I'm just gonna dump this black and white adjustment layer here. Let's get rid of the whole thing. Back to my original image. I'm gonna put the new black and white adjustment layer on my image, converts it all to black and white. But what I'm going to do with this adjustment layer is go into the layers panel and go into my blend modes and I'm going to set this to be luminosity. Now this black and white adjustment layer is now set to luminosity so it doesn't show me the black and white conversion, it shows me the luminance version by using my black and white sliders. Now, I can specifically target colors using my finger scrubby in my properties panel. And if I grab my finger scrubby, click on the image in the color range that I would like, and slide back and forth, I can adjust that color range to saturate or desaturate that specific color that I'm targeting. So, I can make it more even, I can make it more saturated, I can bring out the contrast, and I can change the color pretty quickly and easily, all by using my black and white adjustment layer. This is pretty amazing. So I can actually target colors within my image and adjust those, my reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas. That is pretty awesome. Let me show you on this particular sunset. So again, I'm going to go to my layer adjustments. I'm gonna apply my black and white adjustment layer, set that adjustment layer, to luminosity, grab my finger scrubby, click on the area of the image and target those colors if I would like to saturate or desaturate those colors. So if I'd like to lighten up this green a little bit more, I can target the green, drag it to the right to lighten up, target the yellow, lighten that up too, and kind of desaturate this image overall, all while using my black and white adjustment layer pretty fantastic. But keep in mind that this is all just being done manually. We also have presets here in the properties panel for the black and white adjustment. We can apply a blue filter, make it go darker, looks nice and moody. Apply a green filter, really brings out the greens and the yellows. 
High contrast blue, wow. High contrast red, really get that deep, dark, saturated look. Very moody. I could do infrared, which really blasts it out. I can go lighter overall. I can do my maximum black, choose maximum white, choose neutral density, apply a red filter, nice and moody and dark and saturated and rich, or apply a yellow filter, kind of bring that out a little bit more, which is actually fantastic because you can then go in and surprisingly enough, just use your black and white adjustment layer to really make your image pop without using levels or curves or selective color. So one last image, we're going to go into this forest. And it's nice. The greens kind of pop a little bit. But let's see what this black and white adjustment layer will do for us here. Click on the layer adjustment. Go to the black and white adjustment layer. Set this to luminosity. And there we have it. Grab my finger scrubby. Target whatever range that I'd like. Slide it to the left to kind of darken it up. and Slide it to the right to really lighten it up if I want to lighten up the forest floor. I can click on the trees. I can click on kind of the bluish background where the fog is and kind of lighten that up a little bit. Not much adjustment there. I can target my greens here where I can really darken those greens so they don't pop. Or I can really brighten it up to make it look like our light source is a lot closer. If I target some of the lighter portions here, back and forth, target those areas, and really bring the contrast up or down. Make it nice and dark and moody to really saturate that. Have the greens pop, bring the greens out, knock the greens back completely, all by using my black and white adjustment area. So if you have a complex image that you want to specifically target a color range really quickly and just do it by the seat of your pants, the black and white adjustment layer as a color adjustment may be just your thing.